this video lecture i'm going to discuss on how to create first ssi package so here first i'm going to show you the source so source that using uh, microsoft to uh, sql server the name is uh, is called dpt this is the record inside this and this here the target table the same so uh, here source and target is there microsoft sql server so in the target there's nothing inside there now this is Visual Studio currently using. Let's click on this create new project. So searching there SSIS. So here you can see integration service project as your let's select first option and now click on this next button. So here first SSIS package. Let's click on this create button. So here, all oh, this is now project is creating. So this is loading there. Here you can see this console that's come there. So first, uh, let's uh, take the data flow. And now, when you double click on this data flow, data flow that's come there. After that, this place you can use there, or uh, this different uh, transformation and uh, here going to use their source so let's uh, select here audio.net so audio.net and here this come there double click into it click on this new button and here new and this place you can select your or uh, .net provider sql client data provider oracle or dvc you can select anyone let's select first option that's fine and here server name giving local host so let's uh, log in with the SQL Server account. So giving here SA and give the password. So if you want, then you can use the mandatory. Then after here, let's uh, see the database. So database that's currently using Adam. And this is the table is your source and target. So let's give you the database Adam. And now you need to click on this test button. After let's click on this OK. And here OK. Then after from this place you can select the source. So let's uh, select here as called DPT. And now if you want then you can see the columns. So this three column insert there. Now then after click on this OK. So source part that has done. Now there after let's uh, take the target. So for target let's take the destination. So same or uh, or uh, destination that's going to use. So first here uh, establish the link. Double click on this edu.net and I already created this. This already is there. So I'm not going to create once again. There after let's take the target or dpt tct now let's see this is the mapping and automatically this connected there dpt number dpt number and if dot uh, suitable or the source and suitable uh, this is not suitable so you can give according to your requirement okay now after that click on this okay the next is here we need to save so control s this saved there now let's click on this build so here you can see this build succeeded there is no any problem there after let's so if i click there or if you go uh, start debugging click on this uh, start debugging then you can see this debug there is no any problem four rows that go into the target and if i go on this prog uh, progress here you can see this uh, steps that's done there so this uh, start from here and now if i scroll down here you can see uh, this here 0.5% and uh, this edu.net here you can see this road 4 rows so 4 rows that's road there and now if I go into the target so this is the target is there initially it does not have anything but now after performing the mapping here you can see this 4 rows that's loaded into the target 
okay so this is the most uh, simple way so this is the most uh, simplest way we can create the fast so we can create the fast uh, package inside the SSIS so here the same source same target that's using there the next video there I'm going to discuss how to use the flat fan there so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you